We all know Notion excels at helping you stay on track of habits, goals, projects, to-dos, lists, class notes, and meetings. And those are all great. Well, we already know Notion provides these options. We want to spice up your workspace a bit and take things even further. So if you're creative enough, Notion can be used for even more extraordinary things. And today, I bring 10 things you can organize with Notion that are, well, very unexpected and useful. And the good news is, all of these templates are available for free for you to download to your own workspace. So first of all, never have I ever thought about organizing my Pomodoro streaks until I saw this template. First of all, this template has a built-in Pomodoro timer, which is awesome in itself, and it gives you the option to set a Pomodoro, a short break or a long break. The template has a task table for daily use, so when you start a new day, you clear out the rows to start fresh. You establish a target Pomodoro, an actual Pomodoro as well as the name and duration of the task. Then you get your daily summary, with a template telling you how long you worked for, how many tasks you completed, and the completion date as well. The happiness bar is a mindfulness tool, and what makes it a crazy template is not only the fact that you can use it to journal your thoughts, it actually has space to write a letter to future you, and it even includes a happiness station. The happiness station is a place to link and write down things that give you joy, and that you can revisit whenever you're feeling like your mental health needs some TLC. You can add media such as favorite photos and music, journal entries that remind you of happy memories, or simply a list of things you love and that make you happy. If you've ever had a roommate, then you know that things can get hectic pretty quickly. And instead of organizing everything via text message, loose pieces of paper and conversations over the dining table, you can simply host a shared Notion page with everything you need to keep track of from rent to files, rules and expenses, passwords around the house, a calendar of chores, events and payments, and so forth. A lot of people use space repetition to study within certain time intervals, and it's the kind of thing we do almost naturally. But you can actually organize your notes with this method in a dedicated Notion template. You can add your notes to the master note dashboard and then check off the four reps until you reach the mastery of each topic. The template also automatically calculates when the next repetition should take place and that will pop up on your reps calendar below if you want a more visual way of tracking your notes. Another thing you can manage with Notion are all of your plant babies. Using a gallery format, you can keep track of the look of your plants over time. This template allows you to manage your plants with several people, featuring a watering tracker, fertilizing reminders, a photo album for your plants so you can track their growth over time, a journaling section, and even a scoreboard so you can see your best plants. This version of the house plant manager is paid, but if you want a simpler version, its creator also provides a free template that you can easily duplicate. Notion itself actually created a template so you and your family can prepare in case of a disaster. This template assembles checklists and instructions recommended by the American Red Cross. Besides family member contact info and pet info as well, you can add your plan of action with escape routes and walking directions, a table for responsibilities, a list with emergency supplies, as well as embedded resources in case of emergency. And if you're into organizing everything in one place only, you can actually organize all of your flashcards inside Notion without having to resort to other types of software or physical flashcards. Just like the space repetition template, this is also based on active recall. The database uses the SM2 method, which is proven to generate optimal intervals, which results in higher retention rates. Once you're done with the session, you can update the calculations to schedule the flashcard that will appear on the next session. The template has all the necessary instructions to help you program this quickly, and it's definitely a must for people who have jobs or who are studying topics that rely heavily on memorization. If you're apartment or house hunting, it's normal to feel like the process is getting overwhelming and that you're mistaking the features of different apartments, prices, and even size. So this handy template helps you list all the apartments, including links to postings, Renting fees, availability, personal preference, features, type of neighborhood, amount of minutes commuting to work, size of the apartment, agency, and a space for notes too. Have you ever thought about organizing literally your own decisions? 
You know, the decision journal is organized with two main frameworks. So first of all, you have a typical pro slash con list that helps you state what are the advantages and disadvantages of the decision you're trying to take. If that isn't helpful enough, it includes a further decision journal, which goes a little bit more in depth regarding your decision making. It asks questions such as what is a problem statement? What is the background situation and context? How do you feel mentally and physically when thinking about each scenario? the range of outcomes, and so forth. Once you organize all of your series, movies, books, games, anime, and music, this Media Hub template is a very aesthetically pleasing dashboard, and it helps you list, rate, and keep track of the media you're currently consuming. And it also has a place for yearly goals and a function for progress. You can include in your Media Hub all the shows you can find in Acorn TV, who is sponsoring today's video. Acorn TV has a lot of shows you never watched before. And after two years of lockdown, you know, I probably have watched almost every single thing available on other streaming platforms. I recommend that you, for instance, watch a series called Under the Vines, which for me feels like the Stardew Valley of TV shows. There are two people that are used to the city life and they inherit a failing vineyard in rural New Zealand. And despite actually hating each other and never having really worked in their lives, they need to make that vineyard as successful as possible. You can watch Under the Vines in any device, and if you finish the show, there's always something new to discover every single time. And that's because Acorn TV releases new shows every single week. They're all ad-free, and you can get access to thousands of shows for just $5.99 a month. So it's much cheaper than other streaming platforms out there. But if you use code MEDIANA in all lowercase letters, you can get a 30 days free trial and basically you can watch Under the Vines for free. And if you like, you can just renew your subscription and watch all of the other shows. As simple as that. So don't forget to click the link down below and use code MEDIANA to get your free trial and also check the description box to get your free Notion templates. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next week. Bye guys!